Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing well out there. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to host your own Google Analytics alternative using Matomo. So here we are on the Matomo homepage. Uh, there's a lot of great information on here as far as what is Matomo, why do you wanna use Matomo, that sort of thing. Uh, lots of good information here. I definitely recommend checking out this website if you want more information about, uh, just more about it in general. Uh, the setup for this is actually pretty easy. Uh, we're going to do this in a stack. We're going to use uh, a Matomo container as well as uh, a database container. That's really easy. We've actually got that set up over here in a gist or a gist, whatever you want to call it, over on GitHub. I will, of course, have that linked in the description as well. Uh, what we do need to do first, though, is actually jump over to uh, wherever our domains are being uh, managed. Uh, in my case, I use Cloudflare. So here we are over on one of my Cloudflare domains. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just create a, a, a new record. We're going to call this, I'm going to call this a CNAME record. And for this, I'm going to call this um, analytics. <clears throat> and I'm just going to have that go there. So it'll be analytics.dbtech.xyz. So we want to make sure that this is actually a DNS only, not proxied, because here in a minute, we're going to use Nginx Proxy Manager to uh, to set this up on our, on our network and uh, issue an SSL for it. Uh, so we want to make sure that for the time being, uh, this is set to DNS only. So we'll go ahead and click on save here. And here we can see that we've got that domain set up. Uh, and of course, uh, We'll come back over to Nginx Proxy Manager here in a bit. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we actually need to get, need to get this uh, container or these containers rather deployed first. Um, so let's come over to GitHub. I'm gonna come over here and click raw. And then I'm just going to copy this. We'll come over to Portainer. Uh, we're gonna go to stacks and we'll add a new stack. And I'm just gonna paste this in here like so. And I'm gonna give the, uh, the stack a name. I'm gonna name it Matomo. Seems only right. So up here at the top, we've got a version 2.1. Um, our service is gonna be Matomo. Our image is gonna be the, the native Matomo image. And we're gonna set this to restart always on reboot, on issues, on updates, whatever. It's just gonna restart automatically. Uh, below that, we're going to use uh, port 8384 uh, to access the dashboard. Uh, you can change this to whatever you need it to be. Uh, just make sure, of course, that it doesn't conflict with any of the other uh, containers you've got on your system. Now below that, we've got some environmental variables. Uh, our Matomo database host will be DB. Uh, we can actually see that that's being referenced right down here in the other container down below. Uh, we've got a Matomo database table prefix. Uh, basically, all of your, your table cells will be prefixed with underscore MAT. You can change that if you want. Uh, I would just leave it as is for the sake of simplicity, though. Now, I would, however, change uh, the username and the password uh, at minimum, and then possibly even the database name. However, if you do that, you will want to change uh, the corresponding stuff down here in this uh, Yobis Systems Alpine Marae database uh, container as well. Make sure that those line up. Uh, below that, uh, up here, we've got volumes. Uh, we've just got a config uh, for Matomo. We're just gonna uh, map that uh, wherever your configuration files are stored on your server. Um, and then below that, uh, we're gonna link uh, the database. Uh, that's just a little thing we like to put in there to make sure everything connects properly. Um, and of course, we kind of already talked about this. Uh, we're using Yoba Systems Alpine. Uh, again, we're gonna restart always. Uh, the, the, the environmental variables here, um, actually, I think I have screwed that up. Let's go back and fix that. I will make sure that that is fixed in the stack, like so. Okay, so our database is Matomo, our username is Matomo, our password is Matomo. Our uh, root password though will be randomized. We don't need to know what it is. Uh, in fact, knowing what it is or having that public or, or even available here is a security issue. Uh, so we're just gonna have that randomized uh, in the background so we don't have to deal with it. And then below that, we've got volumes here. Again, where we're gonna store that Matomo database. Again, I've got that stored in my config area uh, in its own uh, Matomo database folder. So that, that's basically it. Now all we've got to do is just scroll down and click on deploy the stack. Uh, this may go pretty quick. I think I might already have these. Oops, all right, well, then maybe I was wrong. Let's go ahead, take those out of there and click on deploy the stack anyway, like so. That seems to have worked. So we'll give that a go. Uh, there we go. So now we've got Matomo as a stack right here. Uh, here we can see that uh, Matomo is running, the Matomo database is running, and we've got things running on port 8384 over here. So what we'll do is we'll click uh, 8384 over here, and this should take us right exactly where we want to be. Now, what we want to do is actually pause right here 
for the time being, because now we're going to jump over to uh, Nginx Proxy Manager to make sure that we get an SSL set up for this uh, so that we've actually got it on a domain name with an SSL uh, for the rest of our setup. Uh, part of that is for the security of the setup. Part of that is also because when it's finished with the setup, it's going to generate some, some code that you'll put in a website. Um, and you want to make sure that that is already pre-set up with your domain name and SSL before we get that far. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll come over here to Nginx Proxy Manager. I'm going to add a proxy host. And uh, let's see here. Uh, nope. All right. So I'm going to type in analytics. Lytics.dbtech.xyz and hit enter. Uh, my port or my host name or IP will be 192.168.68.240. And my port will be 8380. Oops, 8384. I'm pretty sure, but I do want to double check that. Uh, portainer uh, 8384, uh, and then just to make sure I didn't screw anything up, uh, we're going to drag this up here. We're going to ping um, like so, and it is uh, 68.240. Just wanted to verify that I had that so I didn't screw anything up. Uh, we're going to block common exploits. We're going to go over to SSL. We're going to select uh, request a new SSL. We'll force it. We'll do HTTP2 support, and we'll agree, and we'll click save. Now it's gonna go through the process of, of downloading and configuring, setting up an SSL uh, for this specific URL on our server, and it'll store it where it needs to store it. However, once we're done with this, once it comes back up to our new screen, we'll have to make one little adjustment here. Okay, so here we are on analytics.dbtech.xyz. Uh, uh, what I wanna do is actually select uh, edit uh, and go over here to SSL and, and recheck these boxes. I don't know why, for some reason, those get unchecked. Just come back here and recheck those, click save. Uh, and then we can click on this link right here. And that should be good to go. Now, before we go any further, what I wanna do is actually come back to uh, Cloudflare, uh, select uh, proxied there, uh, just to make sure that everything is there and we don't forget it for later. So uh, once we've got that, we'll come over to here. Nope, we'll close that so there's no confusion. Here we've got analytics.dbtech.xyz. We're gonna click next. And um, we're gonna go through this setup process here real quick. Uh, we can just kind of scroll through here uh, and see if there's anything that looks wrong or is broken or whatever, um, but everything here looks good. So we can click next. Uh, all of this should be good, but I do want to uh, make sure that that's fine. Um, yep, that's fine. And we'll click next. Shouldn't run into any issues here. Great. Tables created with success also means it was able to connect to the database. So we're good to go there as well. So we'll click next. Uh, next, we should be setting up a, a super user. This will be our admin. I'm going to call this DB Tech. And of course, we'll do this and we'll say uh, David at dbtechviews.com. Uh, I don't want any of those updates or any of that, so I'll click next. Great, super user was created successfully. Uh, so now it's going to say, please uh, set up the first website you'd like to track and analyze with Matomo. So what we'll do is uh, DB tech reviews and uh, dbtechreviews.com website time zone uh, i'm going to say uh denver pretty close this is not an e-commerce site if it was it would give you more more things to do there more things to track but i don't have an e-commerce site no shopping cart or anything like that so we'll click next and right here is the code that it generated. You've got a couple of options here. You can just copy and paste this, um, or, or if you want, if you were setting this up for a developer or something, you could email the instructions. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just copy that, and then we'll get into the back end of my website and uh, add those analytics. Okay, so here we are in the back end of my WordPress website. And what we wanna do is figure out how to uh, add uh, JavaScript to our website the easiest way possible. This is going to vary from site to site. Uh, even on WordPress, this will vary from site to site. Uh, so this is going to, to be different for you, but I just wanna show me doing it. Uh, so let's see if we go into, uh, I think header and footer here should work. There we go. So here I've got some, some Google Analytics in here already. So I'll just add that uh, after the fact, and then I will find the save button. And here we should have Google Analytics uh, as well as Motomo. So what I'm going to do uh, is just pop this open in a new tab. And then I'll uh, view the source code. Right here, we can see that we've got our tracking code in there that we just put in. Uh, so that should be good to go. So now we can come back to our installation, scroll down, click Next. 
and uh, this should all be fine. We'll go ahead and click next. And then we'll go ahead and get signed in. So we'll say TV Tech. Like so, we'll click sign in. So no data has been recorded yet. Oh wait, there we go. Uh, so we've actually got one user uh, live right now. Of course, that's me. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look in here, see what we can find out. Um, I mean, it may be me, it may not be me. Uh, nope, that is not me actually, because I've got do not track turned on. Um, so we've got somebody in Newark, it looks like New Jersey. Here we can see that they're on uh, my doc starter page. Uh, this is not an accurate IP address. Uh, this just is, is a geographic representation of where they are. Uh, I believe that you can actually go in and turn on uh, more specific data if you wanted to. That's completely up to you and your morals, your ethics, whatever. Um, but this just shows that everything is working. So if we continue to scroll down, uh, here we can see that they're in the United States. Uh, they're using Safari, they're on a Mac. Uh, they're on a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Um, and then we can actually build a profile on them uh, based on how often they visit, things like that. Um, Matomo will drop a cookie on their browser and build a profile on them. Um, I'm not gonna keep this on my website, uh, just to be completely transparent here, but I wanted to show that this is a thing that Matomo does uh, so that you can decide whether or not you want that on or off in your setup. Uh, so you'd wanna actually come up here into uh, settings, I believe, and, and go like into privacy, for instance, and anonymized data, you can turn that on and off, user opt-out, uh, however you wanna handle that. Uh, so there's some good information in here for some good settings to go in and tweak to get the right amount of data that you need for your purposes. So that's how to set up Matomo on your Docker server so that you can kind of get away from Google Analytics or have your own in-house uh, hosted analytics for your own uh, purposes, that sort of thing. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help me out quite a bit. Uh, Again, all of this will be linked in the description down below. Uh, so definitely check out all of those resources that are available. Uh, also, while you're down there, there are some links uh, on different ways that you can support the channel, whether it's through being a channel member or Patreon or coffee or whatever. Uh, if you do that, if you have done that, if you are a patron, if you are a channel member, thank you. I do appreciate your support. You guys are amazing. Uh, and I really do appreciate uh, the, your willingness to give back to the channel. So thank you. Uh, but I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.